Hello and welcome to uh, another episode of Tucket. And I'm not sure if this is another episode, but I'm going to figure out. You know, no one's done a tutorial on how to use these near depleted uranium cells and range them. And the Tucky wicket's really annoying. Okay, so you need uh, some coal, which I don't have. And you put it in your macerator. Right now, uh, I've actually, I think I have some coal in here, yeah I do. Here, I'll just have that cook. I'll take my coal dust. I'll go to a crafting table. And I'll put the coal dust and all these things there. And I'll get a bunch of depleted isotope cells. Now these things are not stackable, so that's kind of annoying. Anyway. So you go into your reactor, why is this door open? Anyway. And you see I already have these depleted isotope cells in here. And you can tell that they've already started the game. Their number, or at least the ones over there. And I'll take most of these out. And I'll put that next to the uranium. And see how it's starting to get the number to get lower? When that comes, it's going to completely come into a rain uh uranium cell. So here I'm just going to spawn one in. Just to show you guys what to do once you have the rain wrenched uranium cell. Where's it? Okay. Once you get one of these, why is that a sheet bed? No, I'll go for the uranium, the uranium training himself. Because I don't cheat. So, well, let's go back to the return macerator. Take the coal dust. Go to your crafting table. And you got your uranium training himself. Put the coal dust down. And you get a uranium himself. Uh, that's basically it. So thanks for watching and hopefully this helped you with your uranium cells and trying to figure out that tech wiki. See you all.